Well, I will read this now. Uh, the Freaks are coming. Rob Zombie and Alice Cooper are bringing their Freaks on Parade tour with Ministry and Filter across the country once again this summer, revitalizing one of last summer's hottest tours, kicking off August 20th and running through September 18th. Tickets are on sale now at LiveNation.com. Uh, this is a can't-miss show featuring some of my favorites, including Dragula and Living Dead Girl from Rob, Poison and Schools Out from Alice. This show is going to be freaky, and it's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see it myself. Yes, that is 100% true. I do hope he plays, because uh, I remember when I saw him a couple years back, they threw in Creature of the Wheel. And I just remember when it, oh man, it was in uh, San Bernardino when I saw them do that. And I just remember it sounded so heavy and so thick and chugging. I really hope they bring out like just one of those obscure zombie songs, yeah. you know, that, that just never gets a whole lot of play. The one year that he did, um, he did Astro Creep in its entirety at Riot uh, Fest. Uh, and like, I was like, we, I, it, it was the return of the Misfits. It was the Misfits second show. Right. And, and Rob Zombie doing that. Plus Deftones on the show too, whatever. Uh, but, um, it was crazy because they did the entire album and the crowd was so, so, and then they had a few, I guess they had 10 minutes at the end of the set. They did Dragula place fucking blew up. It was mind boggling. Well, how because, Well, because, how like, it was. well, because it's like, you know, when it comes to those big festivals too, I'm, I'm convinced that like, you know, people listen to their hard rock station and whatever. And, yeah, they're going to know Dragula and they'll know more human than human and they'll know, you know, Thunder Kiss and Black Sunshine. But yeah, it's mm -hmm. like when you start playing those other songs that the that the hardcore or just the real fans, I guess you could yeah. say, the, the not fly by night fans are, are, you know, listening to. It's like they're like, what is this? I saw Jane's Addiction do all of their all of Ritual Daylo Habitual and everyone wanted to hear been lost, been caught stealing, and then the rest of the album, everyone's just like, <laughs> "What is this crap?" And I'm like, "Are you crossed. kidding me? I've never heard any of these songs played live. It's like one of my favorite records." So that's always that's always kind of how it is, you know, when they do that. Same thing happened with Slipknot when I mm -hmm. saw them at Knotfest and they did all of Iowa. People were like, "Play spit it out!" And like, <laughs> like, nope, we're gonna play 17 minutes of the song Iowa, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, but like for me as a huge fan of Iowa, I was like practically in tears because that was the, A, it was, I think it was V-Man and uh, 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 Jay. Jay Weinberg's first shows was wow. doing all the fucking Iowa. It was really, it was kind of emotional, like even backstage everyone was tense, like everyone was kind of in their own area, but like it was, but just seeing it as a, as a huge fan of that record was mind-blowing, you know, so it's like, that's why like when it comes to stuff like that, it's it's a, it is very hit or miss because people just don't know those other songs. Yeah, the, the 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 perfect night that I ever saw was uh, it was Slayer doing Seasons in the Abyss Oof. and Megadeth doing Rust in Peace oh, together, beautiful. and I I, I was that. in heaven from like the moment it started to the moment it stopped. Um, or were you sat? No, I'm just kidding. Oh uh, uh, yes, I was. Little, I was, <laughs> sorry, I was, sorry. I was, I was little, really bad. They can't all be zingers, folks. Sorry, I was a little southeast of uh, heaven. Okay. Um, the uh, the thing I, you know, it's funny is I, I posted about white zombie not too long ago. And then I was, I listened to, uh, you know, lost exorcisto. And then I listened to Astro group in the car one day. And then, um, I got home and I just started Googling old shows because white zombie, when I was like 15 and going to see them, I mean, it, it was already, they were already in the, 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 the sheds. I saw them twice at like the, the amphitheater. And then once at like a college, it was it was one of the most amazing shows I've ever seen. It was yeah. uh, White Zombie, Reverend Horton, Heat Melvins, and then it was oh, White Zo right. White Zombie, Pantera, I Hate God, and then it was uh, White Zombie Filter. Like, but Filter like had just came out. Like, you oh. people kind of knew. Hey man, nice shot. Oh wow. But uh, but yeah, every time I saw them as a kid, I was completely blown away. Yeah. Some of the best state because you're kind of in the '90s where big arena state rock shows aren't really happening. Right. You know, Pantera is doing a big show, but you know, fire and all that stuff. But I mean, like there was go-go dancers and, and I'm 15. <laughs> you know, right. There's like girls well, dancing like on stage, rock and, you know, metal <laughs> going on. It was, it was one of the best shows I've ever seen. Like every time I went to see white zombie, white zombie was the first band that I ever experienced moshing. And I was, uh, I was going to see them and Pantera uh, on Pantera's first vulgar tour. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just remember being in the middle of the, of the, of the floor and just being like, 
wow, I got such a good spot. I can't believe it. <laughs> and then White Zombie came on, and the whole place turned into a human washing machine. And I just got through, and I was like 80 pounds soaking wet back then. So I was like, mm. just getting thrown every which way. I didn't know <laughs> whoa. I didn't know which way was up. Oh my God, it was funny. And then this guy who looked like he was probably like nine foot two just like grabbed me by the shoulders and like lifted me up and over the barrier in one in one move. <laughs> nice. It was fucking crazy. And that was the first I was like, holy shit. After that, I was like, I see what's going on now. But it's like yeah. it's like if uh, if they were like starting a wall of death and you went to the, came out of the bathroom and didn't know what was happening. <laughs> you're right. And you're and like, like, well, I can walk straight to the front of the stage. Is empty. <laughs> 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 when cool. I worked at, when I worked at Compact Disc World in Menlo Park Mall in Jersey, uh, I remember passing the White Zombie CD all the time because it was always in the miscellaneous W section, but it was always right in front. It was so garishly colored, mm -hmm. and I just remember I was looking at it going. Man, that's the most fucked up looking reggae band I've ever seen in my life. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea anything. They were yeah. just like Rob was just like <laughs> spilling dreads and mm -hmm. got Sean, and then Jay's got his dreads. And I'm just like, what the who are these people? And then I go and see him and I was like, okay, like forget it. I know exactly what's what. I think I sold I sold at least three or five hundred, three to five hundred copies of that record from at that store. <laughs> I turned so many people onto White Zombie at that store. That was ridiculous, but now, hey, man, I hope I hope Rob does do some kind of um, I don't know, like I said, just pulls one of those uh, out of the vault kind of kind of songs, you know. Yeah, it is tough. It is tough a band like that, and even Alice Cooper, you know, the, when I went to see him, I mean, that was probably ten years ago too. But I mean, it's like hit after hit after hit. You know, they're not right. really get, they're not really diving into the to deep into the catalog, right? Right. You know, because because unfortunately most concert goers aren't like you and i they no. they they want the hits and they want to go home <laughs> right right it's like they want the hits and it's too late <laughs> <laughs> it's time for bed i've got to go right totally